headline does unam the kind of practice yahoo yahoo on president Buhari and the nigerian youth the news details in building up legacy it is important to always keep in mind that people will always remember you for your contribution to the society be it good or bad wise people say a good name is better than wishes and such wise ide- idioms don't be- and such wise idioms don't come cheap my opinion about it being expensive is the ability to grasp the message and follow through with adherence and principles over time as the society evolves we are we realize that things that used to matter to us in the past may not really hold so much may not really hold so much true adherence and principles over time as the society evolves we realize that things that used to matter to us in the past may not really hold so much influence on us today and tomorrow which means that as we understand that man is dynamic our attitude towards everything around us within our immediate society or outside it becomes more substantial our approach to being substantial is to buy enough time for comprehension of a message as our thoughts keep revolving around so many things our ability to calmly separate the variables that affect an issue can drive our reasoning capacity to the premium this means that if we do not give other people time to express themselves we may never understand their point of view and in the long run we will miss the point of learning something new they say you start dying when you stop learning and so we discover that it is a continuous process throughout the course of our lives and that builds up our experience in details i have calmly followed through the approach and manner through which unam dikanu has been going about actualizing biafra and it is getting clearer that it might just be a scheme this scheme or schedule may have artificially inseminated via deep research and study and thereby needing a stated outline of document to achieve such end i remember vividly when unam dikanu was screaming one nigeria all the way in the uk working and living a normal life and balancing that with his new personal is still a contradiction what makes me look deeper is the quick transition of that person into a freedom fighter who in the shortest time has been able to cause this amount of chaos on the street to me if we decide to take it all the way to the street it can only be yawu yawu this is how he wakes up one morning and thinks deep about how he can become revived and also make money for himself and then as much as he understands that the people in the east have been emotional about the issue of biafra from its natural characteristics as his proverb does not match anyone who stood who has stood for their rights in the past i hope that each piece people read about my opinion on unam dikanu and his approach we meet the better side of people because they have been brainwashed into hating each other for so long and it is matched with the economic situation in the country in honesty if this government had ignored unam dikanu totally its relevance may have not touched the ceiling because other governments may have may have in the past had this grumblings but decided to leave him all along with a smart set up of his team which has very powerful pr i must say they were able to even play the nigerian government into paying attention to him and that's all he has used to build this menace that has finally crept into nigerian spirit the role of every enlightened individual is to show light to the light, so is to show light to the society they come from and become role model to the society so they represent a positive side of reference 
It is totally absurd to play on the minds of people simply because you know certain principles of human behavior. When it started, it may have been a game and then seeing how important he has become, he now wants to cause a war that he will still run away from with his family safe as well. Now his format is posting eight inciting opinions from a million miles away and watching it destroy the youth of a country that is building a democracy. The passport he holds it is from a country that he, he has built theirs and enjoying the dividends in full. And that's why he enjoys the freedom in which he is abusing today. I stand against violence, even it is quoted, even it is quoted in honey. Because once it involves loss of lives and properties, that there is there it is barbaric. Nations that in recent times even come in conflict have been able to devise diplomatic ways of resolving issues that must arise from communication between between different parties. If we take a deeper look into all of this, we will dis only discover that the issues are over-exaggerated towards causing an angry reaction from a masses that will do better if they are given food, shelter, and jobs. It is shocking that Nigerians are more interested in elements that stand to destroy the peace and stability of the country, but ignore w people who do philanthropic works and our role models in the society. The government may need to start working with a new set of individuals who can reshape the mindset of the youth so the next generation is safe. We note that the just opposed figures like Unam Dikanu, we always use Nigerian youth as lab rats for their experiment. In terms of President Buhari, I only blame his advisors who have decided to make him follow the path that Unam Dikanu is taking advantage of. If his advisors were able to empower the Igbo youth with strong influencers in the East passing a message of oneness and development, the menace would have been checked. We discovered that if the government had been advised to set up many automobile production plants in the East, immediately Unam Dikanu was building momentum. It would have checked the issue and also been as teach in time. The truth is, the South is blessed with production ability and can be the shiner of Nigeria if the government looks into it. Thank you, my listeners, for listening. Do have a good day and God bless you all.